Okay, next up is halving. Halving is when we cut something in the middle, but both sides must be the same. So we can do that with numbers also. So I'm just going to show you quickly how we do that. So the first number we've got is 6. You're going to write 6, finger space is, and then we'll draw our 6 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we've shared things before, but this is the first time that we're really starting with formal halving. So halving just means I need two spaces to put my circles into, and I need to make sure that they're big enough for my circles. And they need to be two because I'm cutting them down the middle, so there needs to be two parts. Okay, so I've got my six. Now what I do each time is, very important, I must first take two and then give one here and one over there. I take one for box one and I take another one for box two. I give to box one and I give to box two. Take for box one, take for box two. Give to box one, give to box two. Now, very important, when I do my answer, I only count, uh, well, I have to check that both of them are the same. So let's do that first. So this box has one, two, three. And that box has one, two, three. So they're both the same. So my answer will be three. Now you can go do it for the other numbers. The numbers you'll use are 4, 2, 8, 12, 10, and 14. We each time we'll write the number, finger space, and is, and then we'll put our answer on that side.